Yo, what up, they people of the interwebs? It's that guy, did it at the ch ch -lula. And salute to Not Nation, the greatest nation representing the Loctations. Today I got another video for y'all. Of course, I'm here doing that daily, and I have um 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 a highly requested dread review. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, because it's the best in daily Not Lock content. <laughs> Alright, so now that I'm up in this, like, um, a wedgie in a hoe, I'm here doing this, uh, dread review today on none other than the one, Zaylock23, Mr. Freeform himself, one of the leaders on the YouTube community in the Freeform Nation, um, Big shout out to Zaylock. I've been in touch with him over the years, um, asking him about his journeys. And actually, he was one of the first YouTubers I reached out to in the Dread game, you know, to kind of get a collaboration going. It never really happened, but I did get in contact with him. Uh, and today, being the day of 2015, I'm actually like at par with his subscribers. So it's like I've I've come from like nothing, looking up to Zaylock's videos all these years, and now I'm like up there with Zaylock. So it's like was really good um, but today I'm definitely doing a, a dread review on him um, starting like from the beginning I suppose because Zaylock's been on the tube for a minute um, and this video uh, I'm gonna have to do it in uh, parts I think not parts sorry I'm gonna have to do this um, on his channel so just to get a, a, a quick glimpse of where we, where he came from here um, Zaylock 23 uh, he's from Georgia and I'm not too sure of his age he's not a well-known character I can't google him like a lot of these artists and he's gonna come up with no information so um, but these were his locks before and this honestly must have been uh, his first his first very first um, journey. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it this way on this lock journey here. Um, this dread review. So, starting with the oldest video, uh, we have Mr. Zaylock here from seven years ago, and these are his locks. Uh, April 9th, two thousand and eight. Pretty sure the Mandem was doing some twist action on these locks. The young looking Zaylock. Uh, and his first journey actually came about quite well. Uh, his locks were like really cylindrical, really symmetrical. The ideal lock formation for a lot of people starting out in the drag game, they actually want to have locks like this. If you're, you know, part of Glow Gang or Chief Keef and them, you'll want locks like this. But otherwise, um, what he's doing now with his hair is a lot more what we should be aiming towards with our locks. Um, so here it's short. Um, obviously we can see that um, it's about eyeball length here. Maybe a couple years of hair growth at this point. Um, but as his locks started to get longer here, uh, let's see it. Like that was, I guess, I don't know how long is there, but this is his, his first set of locks at one year. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Zaylock here at one year, and it's gone from his eyeball down to his nose, so you can see the length is gaining. Um, although these locks are like super thin, uh, a really easy recipe to get thinning locks and to get your locks breaking is to have them that thin. I, was, I suggest now having thicker locks. Um, I was once in the game with thin locks and I've learned my lesson, they break, they thin out. Thicker locks are much stronger, much more durable uh, from what I've, what I've been noticing. Um, Alright, so that was that one year. Um, uh, Zaylock used to do a lot of braid outs as well uh, in his old, old set of locks. So you can see here that his locks were braided and then when you take them out, they become crinkly. You know, a really good look, a really uh, popular look amongst dreads. You know, Little Wayne made this very popular. Um, you know, it's not a bad look. It's, it's actually quite entertaining. Although I, I do find the look a little bit effeminate. 
when I wore them, I've only wore a braid out twice, and when I wore it, like the curls were so like puffy and around my neck, I felt like I was wearing a really fancy scarf, and I was like, man, this look is honestly not for me. It's too, it's too voluminous. I don't know how Two Chains um, does it all the time. Um, so as his hair, as his hair kept growing here. Uh, this this you start to see that uh, the taper look started to come about um, tapering the top of his locks right here I mean beads going in they're starting to thicken up at this point you know the man the man had a good set of locks going on his head actually first time around um, I wasn't a huge fan of his of his videos back at this time. I honestly didn't even know about his videos at this time. He honestly, Zaylock is probably one of the first dread tubers um, in the game, like that I noticed. The guys that were really popular, like he was putting videos up in like 2006, 2007 about dreads. I haven't seen anyone uh, pre 2007 putting up dread videos, so it's like he's been in the game for a, a minute. Quite impressive. Um, so then he went ahead and got his like dreadlocks dyed a bit here. Um, I think it was around this point I started watching his videos in 2010, and that's when I started my channel. I'm like, yo, Zaylox got some sick. Oh, he see, look at this bathroom locks, man. He's going to the salon to get his locks done, get them dyed up, dyeing the tips out right here. Honestly, you could do this stuff yourself. You don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to go to the salon to get this shit did. I would just do it yourself. It's it's better. It's part of the journey. Then that way you don't you get you got less of a chance of getting ripped off that way too. Uh, but yeah, with the dyed tips, it came out pretty well. These locks here are actually reminding me a lot of my old locks. But these are much better because they've been twisted. There's no there's no scarring in it like my interlocks had. Uh, so these are much more um, proper in a sense. Uh, but as as his locks kept growing. You know, he had videos on combining his locks. Um, he had videos on braiding his locks. Uh, and then I think uh, maybe at this point, so 2011, this was about three, four, five years into his journey. Um, his locks are like, you know, down to his chest. Right right here, man. That's, that's some decent Ooh, length. Before you allow you some real decent length um, and you can even see like the frizzy on top of his hair up here like he wasn't really maintaining it too much at this point uh, and then he went ahead and did the uh, big old chop and um, basically he went ahead and chopped off all his locks to start fresh and um, this brings us to the Zaylock that we know today um, with the free forms. Uh, and here we see it, uh, November 25th, 2011. It's been said 90% of uh, his first free form lock video came into the came into the game and he called it his mental his mental baptism. So he feels he's been bringing back down to earth with this one. Uh, spiritual locking journey so here we really see it um, you know it's showing you his locks before so one year he had the afro at uh, one year uh, just as like a quick recap so one year and then three years seven months went by and he had that main guanning so almost four years he uh, had the twisted locks which, don't get me wrong, they look great, they look good. Uh, but the, the character is not as prominent as they are in the locks that he's got today. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, he's got the buns going, and then quick uh, video of his locks on his head like that to see that they've all been cut off. You can still see some of the nubs that he cut them from. So he probably started freeforming right after from when he cut his old locks. With some dreads like already in play. Which is a good time to actually start freeforming because there's already some 
there's already some formation happening. But uh, Zaylock's baby dreads here were quite impressive. Let's see what he's saying. I'm trying to get knowledge of myself, who I am. I'm trying to get knowledge of creation around me. I'm trying to get knowledge of it, my existence. You understand? So I'm trying to get. So he's all about knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. That's what he's always preaching in his videos. He's all about that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Overstanding. Man, I'm gonna say. Um, but that this video is not about that. This video is about his locks and um, basically. <laughs> was he kissing the camera? Shit. Uh, basically, he grew out the nappy fro from at this point. Uh, and then the free forms just kept on guaning. Uh, you can see um, three months in, he had his locks out. Three months in here, you can see the locks are still formed on the top. The afro is just the afro is just getting bigger and bigger at, at this point. So I mean, like, because of the fact that he already had his locks on and they chopped them off, there was already a little bit of starting point for his lock. So usually at three months of free forming, you're not going to see as much progression as this. Um, I definitely did not see that much progression on my three months of letting my hair just grow together. Uh, so it's all different. Um, it's all relevant to your hairstyle, to your hair texture. Uh, and then you can really start to see like here at five months, uh, he's really going in. Five months and same nappy fro, but they're starting to, to like thicken up a lot more on the sides, on the top. Really wild. There's no, for, uh, there's no symmetrical formations at all at this point. And then we get to his one year free forming points. Um, of course, there's an ad. Get away from the advertisement. Right? And this is at uh, one year free form. You can see the locks on the sides getting really thick. Locks on the top getting thick as well. Afro very prominent after a year. I mean, uh, this is the fun stage of locks. It's the craziness time when you, you can't really control them. You can't do anything with them. You just gotta let them be. You gotta let them be crazy baby dreads. And I highly think that it's a part of the journey that has to be embraced. A lot of people grow the hair out first so that they don't have to go through the baby dread stage, but take the dive into the baby dread stage. It's all part of the learning experience and learning yourself too and accepting yourself for who you are, really. Uh, so, you know, after one year free form, um, one year, eight months comes by, so it's basically like a, a year and a half. You can start to see uh, a lot more of how his, his shape is coming about here. And those free forms are just like wicks almost at this point. I mean, they're not standing up like wicks, but they're thick and like flat and they're, they're double ending at the, at the tails. Uh, so I'm actually surprised now where he's at. Like you can see the fronts con going up um, to two big dreads at the front. Takes a lot of bravery to grow to grow out your locks in such a fashion. Uh, moving on, there's I mean he's he's been growing this for a while now. So I mean this is like two years now. Uh, two year journey. You can start to see the Congos happening in his locks. There's some lint in there, I can tell. I'm burning some sage. But it's just cool to see uh, that the afro is like still there. The afro is like still around. So many Congos, and he's not been separating them at all. Not at all. Um, so that was what, two years? Um, Two 
two years mark. Uh, let me say here. Um, what is he at now? Three. So this is three years on the dreads. YouTube worlds. They like right here's here's a three year mark um the same wicks are just like lengthy now very lengthy if they have all dropped down and there's a lot like a, a lot of thinner dreads that have formed on the front here which is the part i find very interesting because this is the section of my hair that i i kind of manip manipulated because i wasn't i wasn't sure how it would form out but i mean it looks like they they go thin regardless uh, but definitely his locks at this point, like they're they're matured for sure. Um, I highly doubt he's experiencing any thinning or breaking of his locks at this point. Uh, which brings me to where to where he's at today with his locks, um, which would be. His most recent video, probably four year free form lock anniversary, which actually just came out uh, a week ago. And um, all I gotta say is that uh, congrats to Zaylock for getting it this far. Um, he's doing some capoeira here. I used to do capoeira, man, in 2010 when I started watching his videos, like I was into capoeira and then he got into it like a few years later and then I stopped doing it. It's something I wish I kind of kept on doing. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's very hard though on your on your joints and on your wrists and your knees, but this is Zaylock here showing us his four year locks. You know, like there's five, six, seven dreads combined into one big up Congo there. And like his whole head is basically looking like that right now. He seems very happy about it, very lively. You know, he's definitely lively up himself on this one. With that capoeira. Um, he, and he's actually at the same length that he was with his first set. And look at the difference in the mane, in the volume of his mane. Um, the front of his locks, that, that last section I was telling you about, um, sectioning at the front like his kind of have done it by himself and they're they're dropping down in front of his face I just think it's cool to see that those locks kind of free formed into a twist like lock but the rest of his hair just big up Bob Marley dreads uh, so it's like if you ever want to learn how to get Bob Marley dreads just let them grow don't touch them that's the best way that you can get Bob Marley dreads. Zaylock seems to be doing that quite well. Uh, and there's actually one video here I want to show you uh, before this dread review comes to an end, sadly. Uh, but this video was actually probably one of his most popular videos uh, recently. Because of the one view that he gives you of his locks after he ties them down. Like This is them tied up. It looks pretty cool tied up amongst their own dread. Uh, but then like at this one point he brings them down and does like a quick little 360 and it's just like phenomenal on the way his locks are uh, airing out all right so here we go his locks are down at this point and um, I'm not even sure what he's talking about I, I muted the audio obviously here uh, but you know as he turns around at this point just check out this lion mane. I couldn't believe it Come on show us brah Here it is right here boom <laughs> boom <laughs> Holy shit Look at that hair Like it's so whack. It's so wild. It's like untamed. This is so entertaining just to see um I need to link up with this guy and just like get an interview of him, high quality, HD, and just get these locks, like real close up video of these locks. I might have to go out to Atlanta one day, make a trip out there, but no, his locks are frigging wild. I wonder if they're heavy, but they're thick, definitely like some of the thickest locks I've seen on YouTube right now. But yeah, no, that's that's Zaylock's 23 freeform locks and his old twisted locks. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, there's no Illuminati expose in this video because um, Zaylock here is 
only a regular person like you and I. He has not sold his soul out to become famous and rich to the uh, satanic Hollywood industry. So you guys are going to save yourselves a little bit of breath on this video because I got nothing to say. Besides, subscribe to Zaylock's channel. Oh, and subscribe to Notlock's channel. Um, and have yourself a blessed day. This is not locks. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next dread review, in the next Veda vlog, whatever it may be. Until then, make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. Because guess what? This is the best in daily not lock content. I'll check you guys next time. Peace. Deadline.